21st century war. Can we imagine what it's really going to look like? Our last world war was nearly a century ago, and we've used all that time since to imagine quite a bit. Decades of feverish anticipation as we wait and wait for someone to finally invent the ultimate war weapon. What if we already had the ultimate weapon and didn't even know it? That old thing, that goes halfway back in the last century. We were promised particle beams and purple lasers. What gives? Well, we're not talking about the nuke, not quite. We're talking about a side effect called the electromagnetic pulse. One dumb little side effect that can win the next war all by itself, especially a 21st century one. Because after all of our hyperfixating on super weapons we haven't even invented yet, we never asked ourselves the right question. How many nukes does it really take to win a war? To learn about the pulse, we must first remember everything we can about the nuke. One, they're hot. Two, they're bright. Three, they create a superheated shockwave. We owe this effect to a physical relationship between pressure, volume, and temperature. Air is always pushing out in all directions. Heat it up and it really pushes out, raising the pressure. That pressure wants to explode out in a volume of super heat. And you don't want to be there when it does. energy for all this destruction comes from the power of nuclear fission. Fission occurs in the heavy elements that we use for our atomic weapons, such as plutonium. That bomb goes off when that heavy element splits. An element split by nuclear fission releases all of its energy in a blast of photons. Light, heat, gamma ray radiation. All of these elements put together equals the output of one nuclear bomb. But as we said, we've seen this before. What does it take to be an ultimate weapon? The most expensive toy. The flashiest sound effect. The most lasers per square inch. As usual, we're thinking with our wallet. The ultimate weapon is going to be whatever can win the whole war in one shot. What the? I've lost the power. We've lost power to the helm! The comm's out! So our weapons! The ultimate weapon wouldn't even give you the chance to fight back. I can't get anything back online. Some other draining all our power. And with the electromagnetic pulse, we have exactly such a weapon. EMP, or electromagnetic pulse, which causes a temporary interruption of all electrical current within its field. Science fiction has showed us EMP-like weapons before. EMP armed. EMP. Electromagnetic pulse disables any electrical system in the blast radius. And overdone special effects aside, their effect is easy to explain. Simply, an electromagnetic pulse is a blast of electric charge in the Earth's atmosphere. And in the atmosphere, it shorts out and destroys anything electronic. 
power lines, power stations, lights, computers, TVs, entire power grid. And not just the landlines, but any electronic system, even in the air. Anything that runs on electricity is shorted out and dead. Now we're talking about a weapon. You see the terror of this weapon. Total technological blackout. Nothing works. We need to make sure both that no one ever gets this and never uses it against us. But it's too late. Everyone out there already has it. The nuke. Nuclear bombs make EMPs. It has to do with fission. Fission releases gamma ray radiation. Gamma rays are one form of ionizing radiation, meaning as the gamma ray flies through the air, it'll hit an atom in the air and knock an electron off of it. The world of nuclear science calls this Compton scattering. A gamma ray goes in, an electron comes out. But we should call it trouble. A nuclear bomb does not release just one measly gamma ray, it releases a blast. This in turn scatters a blast of electrons, saturating the atmosphere of the planet with an electrical charge. What runs on electricity? What doesn't? Electronics rule our lives, and we rely on them for everything. Communication, transportation, every scrap of information that we possess. Not to mention our infrastructure and entire defense. Can you imagine what would happen if it all just went away? Hysteria, darkness, filth, and utter, complete quiet. Total quiet. Has that sunk in yet? For how many people do you really have to talk to once even this is gone? So here is our 21st century war. Suppose you want to conquer a city. You can't just nuke it. There'd be nothing left to conquer. Instead, detonate your nuke above the city. The EMP will smother everything. Lights, cars, computers. And leave behind pure defenseless panic. But why stop with just one city? How much damage can one EMP do anyway? A nuclear bomb disintegrates anything within the 5 to 10 mile diameter. But an EMP caused by gamma rays is line of sight. Anything it sees from one horizon to the other, everything within that line of sight is caught by the EMP. Which means that's the answer to the question. The first question, how many nukes does it take to win a war? Fire. How many? One for the capital? military bases, every population center on the entire continent, one nuke detonated 300 miles up has in its line of sight the entire North American continent. This isn't just a few lights, this is everything. Transportation is paralyzed, industry freezes, food stores run out in days, Social services collapse, and one second after, an entire country is reduced to the Dark Ages, with nothing left to do but scream. And by the way, you lost the war. Welcome to the 21st century. I got this. As a culture, we've spent the last 100 years making a big jump way into the future. But now that we're here, we don't dare forget how fragile all of this is. 
Science has always only been as smart as the people who use it. And there's nothing we'll ever invent that'll ever be immune to easy come, easy go. We're still just generations out of stone knives and bear skins, and it would take only one hit to send us right back. Tank, charge the EMP. So who wouldn't do it? The nuclear genie is out of the bottle, and there's nothing to stop anyone from using it. We have lost all internal power. We now keep our power only at the pleasure of our enemies. And that's going to be the only tactic of the next war. Whoever can keep their lights on wins. If, by the time it's over, there's any lights left. You know what Einstein said about World War III? He said he didn't know how they were going to fight World War III, but he knew how they would fight World War IV with sticks and stones. You're not afraid of the dark, are you? <laughs> <laughs>